In this video, we're going to explore how we can create a matrix chart, which is a other type of chart that is possible with Chart.js. However, it is not possible out of the box, and this means that we need a separate plugin for it. And this plugin has just recently been updated, so it will be available for all Chart.js 3 versions. And it's time to explore this because there's a lot of nice stuff we can do with it. So let's explore first how to do this and what we can do with this. In this video, we're going to explore something quite interesting which has been recently available for Chart.js 3, which is how to create a matrix chart with the Chart.js matrix plugin in Chart.js. All right, so this is quite fun because this is a very new item that is now accessible. And if you look at it, we can go here. Oh, let me go here. You can see here we can create these kind of Maybe if you're familiar with GitHub, these kind of charts. So if I click here on the sample, and this is the chart.js-chart-matrix.pages.dev, and this is basically the type of chart that we can make here. You can see here, these are just basic squares. It is a calendar version, which looks very similar to a GitHub. And next one here, we have on the scale, we would be another option as well. And we have another on the time here, and this is absolutely phenomenal. All right. So to do this is not all, not that hard. However, if you look at the documentation, they tend to use a lot of different items. And what I want to do right now is not to go that advanced. I just want to create a very simple matrix chart with this. So let's start to explore how to do this. First of all, what I want to do here then is to go to rechargest3.com getting started. I'm going to get my basic setup because I am used to that. And if you you many of my videos you will see this as well and this is the structure I prefer to use and I would highly recommend you to use that as well this is also how the documentation in charges is building if you want to understand this uh, the JavaScript in here watch this video here what I just did was I just copied that entire code and paste it in here next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out I'll put it in here and save that once I save that refresh we have now a bar chart so this is nothing for what we need all right so what we're going to do now is explore first of all or before we even continue on we need to get the chart js chart dash matrix or matrix uh, javascript library so what we're going to do here you can find it here just make sure you have the one with the min.js and then click on this and you copy the html and then we're going to paste it in here to paste this, we're going to paste it here below. There you are. So we make sure that first the JavaScript library loads because this library, this is a plugin, depends on the JavaScript here or basically the Chart.js library here. So that needs to be loaded first. So if I save this now again here, nothing changes. All right. So if we look now at our documentation here, let's go back to the home. You will see here they have a whole story about integration and then they have all these codes. What we can do uh, no let's see here we have here some basics but you can see here even this is uh, there's a lot of information here or a lot of structures uh, let's start and work with a basic here so what we're going to do is basically in here we're going to work with the data sets and the data set here is quite similar you can see here you can say here well weekly sales or our new matrix chart all right and then next one we want to do here is the data and the data here there are multiple options to do here and this is quite interesting so what we're going to do here is you see this one here this is a default way we have only two values but if you are familiar that you want color coded we need to do something more advanced or we can do something quite advanced here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in a other value between there as well and it is also being shown in the uh, samples here. If you look at the samples, you can see here these color codes, and they will show you certain color codes. But let's explore exactly how this works. So you can see here, if you click on data, they have another value here. So we're going to do this as well, so we get these kind of specific color coded values. All right. So we say here x, y, and comma. This can be the value, and this could be. We can make here this eleven. Doesn't matter. Then the next one, we have to make sure. What we're going to do, because we're working now with squares, and we have to do that, what we need to do is three by three, that will be nine squares if we want nine squares. These labels here, 
needs to be removed as well eventually. Let's comment this out for now because we don't need this now. So what we're going to do is we have the x and y and the x and y indicates the position here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do x and y and then there's this v value which could be anything. You, it's basically a data structure. So this could be a V value or a color, anything you want, or maybe if you are familiar with GitHub, how many commits has been done. If we do here, commits, or we can do it like that, commits as well. All right, then we have here the position. All right, we have here X one by one equals this. X one by two, or one and two in Y, that's this one here. So you're going down here and then here, uh, Y one or X two, by y1 is this so you can see here these are like square coded colors so that's what we need to do here we have to make sure that these numbers here are extremely consistent well in this case let's say we have we're going to make it three by three by four and then we're going to have here all of these other options as well so i'm going to copy this and what i'm going to do we're going to just going to copy that put it in there and how many more we need to do is in total we should have that's not what I wanted. All right, I just copy this. That's fine. Make sure we have here an enter so that the bracket will not be removed. So I'll just put it in here. How many times? If you're going to do uh, three by four, we need in total twelve squares. You can say four, and then here one, or let's say four by three, in here as well. All right. So then what we have here is we have here one 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 and let's see here this should be a one as well and then here two 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 well they're all two and of course finally the three 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 all right so with the commits you can do it two three four one two three four and then here maybe let's say uh 34 33 22 and uh, 34 again that's all right so if we save this here make sure you have all these comments here at the very end if we save this now of course nothing yet happens because right now it really doesn't understand what's going on here and the reason why is we need to select here the chart type right now it's bar and if you want to convert it into a matrix chart then we have to look here we can see here as well we just have to type in matrix or matrix that's the matrix all right so we're going to grab that one put it in there and let's see now there we are all right so it starts to do something the biggest surprise for me was basically we didn't have to activate the plugin it will instantly work apparently it works because the type of chart it reads that instantly so we don't have to do any kind of activation however we have here now all these values and there you are you can see all of this but of course uh, it gets now these color code that we have assigned, but it's by far found perfect. So what we're going to do now, probably you can uh, uh, do the following here, where we have this. So let's start and look at the background color. What we're going to do with the background color is very straightforward. We have this background color and it's random here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to make a formula that will grab these and based on these commits, we will uh, loop it through in a in a structure of uh, color coding. So how do we do this? Well to do this all we have to do here is basically go in the phone and we're going here in the background color and here we're going to change this. Say here this and then we have to put in here the, these uh, curly braces and then what we're going to do in here we say here the raw. Basically what we want to extract is the raw value that we have here. Once we did this well, we can do a console log and you can see now what this raw value looks like. We save that. Make sure you have a comma here. And let's see here. Do we get an oh, unexpected token here on 73? Where do we have? We have this one here. All right. So that, that that's not working yet. So let's see here what is missing. Of course, the gra this one is not allowed. So you have to make it like this. So it's a function can read it as a function and here we have the comma where are you on this all right delete this as well save that refresh there we are so now you can see here we get the raw values and you get the commits 
basically the comments was if you are looking here at this one you could see here as well when they had the value here was value v we're doing commits it could be anything you want and what we want to do here basically is we want to grab this specific comment if we do like this save that go back here refresh and if you hover over it you will see here now you'll get the commit value beautiful there you are so it grabs this so with this number we can basically give a color coding so how we do this well this is quite simple but we need to use some formulas here so we say you're constant and what we're going to do is we're going to grab a color but the alpha value which we're going to play which makes the tone darker or lighter will be this one here that will be basically our alpha so we say here alpha and then we say equal now what we're going to do here we use a formula and this formula is also built in here or they they have a sample here if i'm not mistaken somewhere on the categories so on this one you can see it as well if you go down here into the data you can see here we get this specific way so basically it's a formula and the formula is very straightforward all alpha value can be between one of zero and one so you should get the color code between there so what i'm going to do here very simple i'm just going to copy this and this is exactly the same you can 10 plus value and the value would be then in this case the raw commits and so if i save this now then we should have some colors but of course we don't have yet the colors here and the reason why we don't have the colors yet we need to return but what we what are we going to return i'm going to grab the green color here that's this one here and so return this all right but what are we going to do is we have to make here this is a string and this should be a variable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert this into template literals so that will be here back tick back tick all right so we have this we're going to cut this out put it in here and then what we're going to do in here is this we say here dollar sign and then we say here alpha dollar sign curly braces and between here alpha that is the variable if i do this now and refresh now we have a color coordination here that looks beautiful all right so we are here but of course we're not yet done because you can see the width and everything just doesn't make any sense for the border color i would just say just for the sake of it we will just grab the default border color which is the green one here or the tail colored green so in here refresh and now they're all but you can see because this is a higher value of commits or more commitments has been done here it is more uh, darker so if i would put in here commit of one let's save that you can see here this is very light hardly anyone's committing here all right so what we're going to do now is controlling because we have this and we could even duplicate this put it in here for the border color just whatever you want but the next thing that's really important here is to assign height and width within these squares because right now the squares are far too big for their size so what we're going to do now is start working on it and what we have to do here is we say width and the width here and then we have to assign a specific width here so we, we grab the width of the chart and then what we say is how are we going to calculate that well basically it's this so we say here the width of the chart or the width of this will be based on the chart width so we say chart dot chart area and once we have this then or bracket all right and i'm doing this because i'm copying it we'll make sure that this is uh a chart is correctly spelled and i'm doing this because i'm copying basically a part of the code here eventually with we're going to the width uh it's one of them here you can see here this equals that all right and then Right now I'm going to hard code it because you can see here it is all soft coded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hard code them for now. And then we say here the following. Once we have that dot, here we say width, we're going to get the width, divide by the amount of uh, access basically we have here. So basically I'll just say here for, for the sake of it, four minus one, all right? And then next what we'll do is, and uh, the reason why minus one, is not yet a real explanation for that but i will try to figure it out because i'm lo looking at this as uh as it is still quite new and i have to dive it more in depth but i want to make sure you have this at least so here for the height is the same situation here and that's here basically this 
is the y value how many y value we have remember we have four by three so this will be three minus one and i assume here we're going to this it's probably because it's looking at the array loop it loops through an array and there are three items but it will do minus one because the value of zero is first one that's what i that's my assumption i cannot confirm that yet all right so once we did this we can save this now and let's see what's going on now all right so we have an incorrect token here let's see we have this all right that's not allowed of course we have to make sure that this is a comma and we have to make sure here is a comma as well and there we are so now we have this but of course our positioning is still not where it's supposed to be so we're going to work on the positioning now but we have the shape of it and the shape is exactly the width of the chart area however there's still some padding and space between here and that's the reason why why it's being clipped off here and because of all of this the entire situation so what we're going to do now finally is convert it into our scale so we need to go to the scales here and in this scales we're going to say the following we say here first we will do the x scale and this here can be removed so we do the x scale we say comma and in the x scale here you going to say display, which can be true or false. If you want to hide it, you can say, you can say false. You say true. Then we say your min, that's the min value, should be 0 0.5. And comma, the max value will be in this case, we expect here then, uh, I guess this would be plus 4.5 or 4.5, so it's increase a bit. And then we have here, you can say you the offset and that's the issue here why is there space because we are working with offset so we're going to set the offset false to remove that excess of space there so if i save this now and refresh now it is matching nicely so there's another offset here of course and we can start to push everything nicely together so let's start and do that immediately you can see here again display we put it in here and next you might say why do we do here maximum of 4.5 apparently every square the way how it's calculated it starts at certain value now i will dig deeper into that as well now you say you mean 0 0.5 comma max will be basically value this plus one which would be here four or oh, sorry three point or well, basically this value 0.5 so that's what that's basically here the item so eventually what we need is a soft coded version if you have a very long style just like github uh, commitment chart all right so we have this here display true offset we save this now and refresh now we have these nice beautiful chart here and we have these metrics chart here with all these squares beautiful so there's, of course, a lot more we can do. I will cover it in other videos, but this is just a quick introduction into this a bit more complicated item in chart.js and a quite exciting one. It's completely different than our standard charts.